Hello everybody, welcome but whoa 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 whoa. Welcome back to Legends of Equestria. Uh today we got another Heartlands quest for you out here. And check this out. This one uh Well Wishes actually has a quest now. So, I mean, this is pretty exciting. I want to see what she has to say. Hopefully there's no way to like fail this like last time, so I have to do it a second time, but anyways, let's get this started. Here we go. Hi, little stallion. Welcome to the Nature's Heart Orphanage. Yes, I have a foal to put up for adoption. What are your rates? <laughs> Hi, how have you been these days? I'm not a health and safety inspector, but if I were, I'd inform you that your facilities are not up to standard, I'm sorry to say. Let's say, hi, how have you been these days? Hey, times have been very tough for our poor orphanage. I'm sad to say, we haven't had enough money to hire some new staff. We've had to cancel our contract with the cleaners. The children don't mind at the moment, but it breaks my heart to think it'll only get worse. Why don't you ask the town for more money? Aren't you a state-sponsored social service? That's terrible. I hope things turn around. Let's ask the first one. Mary Naysayer has been the exact opposite of helpful. Far from providing assistance, he has indicated in no uncertain terms that the orphanage is on its own when it comes to funding. Some townsfolk donate, but obviously they can't spare much in these economic times. I'm 98% sure the mayor is doing something illegal by denying you funding. Did the mayor give a reason he's cutting you off? Huh, hey, let's say the first one. It's not illegal. He's simply allocating funds as he was elected to do. And it's not just us. Most of our town processes have been hit with crippling budget slashes. Naysayer has diverted our entire town treasury into this golden statue thing. I don't really understand it, but it's not my place to protest. No, that would be my place as a mysterious newcomer who cleans up the town then saunters off just as mysterious before you even catch my name. I'll convince the mayor he's in the wrong. Spoken like a true equestrian citizen, manifest, deny, and whatnot. Design your own future and don't rely on anyone. I want to hear his side of the story before I make any decisions. Let's, I guess I could say that. Of course you can go talk to Mayor Naysayer Mayor in town. It's nice you're taking an interest in midway politics because no, almost nobody else is. Yes, ma'am. I'll just march over there and get that ball rolling as soon as I can. Whoa, now, I didn't agree to anything. I don't have time to be your messenger. I have things to do. Now, let's say the first one. Okay, now, where... Oh, is he right over here? Oh, he's, he is right here. Hey, you, I got a bone to pick with you. Eh, I never see you around here. You new to town, Stallion? Just visiting, actually. Pleased to meet you. None of your business. Good day, sir. It is an honor to meet the mayor of this fair town. Let's say, just visiting, actually. Pleased to meet you. There now. That's how to treat the mayor of Midway Village. You could do you, you could do to take some leaves out of this youngin's book, Briquette. Have. Uh, never mind this old clod. Has her mane in a tangle for some reason. She could possibly be sad in a town. Uh, how could she, how she could possibly be sad in a town with such a glorious statue? I'll never know. No idea. That's an amazing statue. Why is the chief of police sad anyway? Just curious, who is the statue of? Let's see, why is the chief of police sad anyway? Uh, she's just throwing a hissy fit because she may not get to buy donuts for staff every single day like she wants to. You know, if I could afford a staff. Uh, nut up, crybaby. 
Nobody said being the chief of police was easy. Besides, who would commit a crime in a town with a statue this glamorous? Doesn't it, don't it just command respect? I see a glaring flaw in any strategy relying on using a publicly accessible statue to dissuade theft. I guess, but police officers are kind of important. You said it, that statue was totally worth it. Let's say the police are pretty important. It's a small town, Briquette can handle it herself. If she isn't such a negative nilly about everything, it's why we pay her. My entire salary goes to paying the police station zoning and electrical bills. And it's working, isn't it? Ain't that all that matters? I had to sell my house and live in the station's attic. Well, at least you won't get robbed. Okay, seriously, Mayor, you sound phenomenally delusional. This town is in trouble. The orphanage is in danger of becoming homeless, too, and unlike Briquette, they'll have nowhere else to go. Your leadership is absolutely breathtaking, sir. Uh, you, Mayor, you are delusional. This guy is annoying. What? How can you say that? Look, Nay, even the tourists are saying it. It's one tourist. Hardly means a thing. The rest will show you both. This statue's glory will be worth every bit we sacrificed to get it made. For example, the orphanage seems to really be struggling. Couldn't you send a little bit of a rainy day funding their way? The first citizen who feels like owning this, his golden horn will certainly think so, considering you have no officers to protect it. Huh. I, let's mention, uh, I don't know, he might not care about the orphanage, I, the golden horn. Let's say this one, though. The orphanage needs to understand that everyone in town is going through hard times right now. Looking to the future will require sacrifices in the present, and this statue will reap serious benefits eventually for the orphanage and everyone else in this town. Don't know why they think they deserve special treatment. Because they're an orphanage. Literally everyone considers orphanages deserving of special treatment. You can't say for sure that that statue will pay everything off that easily, and nature's heart is in trouble now. I guess that makes sense. It'll all be worth it once the statue starts earning the town tourism attention. Uh, let's say the second one. Well, we just sent you out here to beg on her behalf, didn't she? Well, you can tell her that my mind is made up. This statue has already been purchased and there's nothing she can do about it. Vroom. Huh. I should have told them it would be stolen. Oh. What's, what's this? Oh, the NPCs seem to be having trouble loading. Did I mess that up again? Let's talk to Well Wishes. So yeah, that totally didn't work. Mayor ain't budging, sorry. It turns out that you need more than a righteousness and a winning complexion to sway a politician. Who knew? Let's say the first one. Forget about that, we have a bigger problem. Clementine has gone missing. Should I go look for her? No, no, she's playing hide and seek. I heard her talking about that. Let's say the first one. We have more than enough ponies doing that already. What we need is someone to go inform her father. Oh, do I have to? I can do that. You can count on me. He has a right to know. Thank you. Oh, it's his daughter, isn't it? Oh, good. Now he'll learn. Hello there, friend. Come to admire the statue some more? No, I'm here to let you know your daughter has gone missing. Clementine hasn't been seen for ages. Ponies are looking for her, but they could use some help. Yep. Let's say, uh, your daughter's gone missing. Clementine is missing? Oh no! My beloved daughter! Briquette, you must get your officers on this at once! I can't afford any officers! Then your police dogs? At least search in a police chariot! Couldn't afford to pay the food bills for the dogs and I burnt the chariot wheels when I ran out of firewood. 
borrow ponies from the fire department then. The fire department went bankrupt. And who do we turn to? What can we do? Nothing. This is what I and Will wishes and everyone else was trying to tell you. This town is crippled because you spent all our money on that statue. No, my cherished daughter. What have I done? Oh, this is all my fault. And all because of this accursed statue. It's not too late. Sell the statue, then use the money to start over. Can't say you weren't warned. You are an idiot. Let's say the first one. I'll sell the statue. It won't be as much as we had before, but it'll be enough to start everything back up again. We could get money back to all the necessary functions, but that won't do anything to bring back my darling child. I'll try to find her. I'm sorry this had to happen. If only someone could find her. Well, well wishes probably can find her. Or, or I can. She's around back of the orphanage, isn't she? Clementine was last seen here. Oh, is this like a... Are we finding her? Oh, jeez. This is going to get interesting. Uh, what? Whoa. Oh, there's nothing here. What? Well, what, what, what am I supposed to do? Is she on the tree or something? Oh, jeez. Ah. Uh, okay, this is going to be a, a little bit difficult. Huh. What exactly am I meant? Should I ground pound here? She was last seen here. What do I do? Oh, hoof prints. Oh, did they go into town? There's something. Okay, so just follow the road. What's that up there? Is that a guard? Okay, we're slowly figuring this out. Aww. Uh huh. Oh, no, that's a dryad. Odds and ends. Okay, so we heard some pony crying. So, did I miss something? Let's see, around a corner. Is she up here? Aha! Uh -huh. Here she is. I found you! Everyone's looking for you. Please come with me. Hide and seek ended a long time ago, you know. Let's say everyone's looking for you. Hold that coin. I'm hiding. The game is over. You won. You're scaring everyone. Your father's worried sick. Let's say that. That is the reason I'm hiding. He never listens to anyone. All of my friends at the orphanage are hungry all the time. They can't sleep at night because of roaches. And if he just stopped caring about that statue more than anything else, he could help them. You really need to tell him all of this. It would certainly help him change his mind. I agree he's pretty stubborn, but he does love you. And worrying him and everyone in town is the wrong way to get your point across. It's only the first one. Oh, 
Why should I even bother? Who never cares what anybody says? I have a feeling he'll care now. He's d despondent because he thinks he's lost you. Uh, let's say the second one. Good, he deserves it. If you go talk to him right now, he's definitely going to listen to your reasons for running away. I thought you wanted to help your friends at the orphanage. Well, you aren't helping them out here, but you could help them by talking some sense into Naysayer. Let's, I guess I'll try the first one. I guess you're right. I hope you're right. Otherwise, this will all have been for nothing. Well. Well. Okay, just a little bit of trouble loading there. Okay. So, now I know how to do this quest. Okay, so we're going back to Naysayer. I believe we are. A bunny hop back into town. Yeah. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Okay, where's Naysayer? Let's, here we go. Has anyone found her? You seem... Oh, that's me. I do it. Has anyone found her? You seem happier than last time. Let's say that. Yes, I just finished speaking to her. I'm so glad she's safe. I really should have listened to her sooner. Briquette, Jet Black, I really should have listened to all of you. I, all I can do now is fix the enormous mistake I've made. Good enough for me. Good for me too. But, but the statue is so pretty. You're still a phenomenal idiot. Uh, let's say good for me too. Clementine is going to tell well wishes the good news. Jet Black, do me a favor and make sure she made it safely to the orphanage. Sure thing. I'll have to talk to her anyway. No promises. <laughs> okay, I'll, st I'll say the first one. Okay, and I believe we're wrapping up this little adventure here and talk to well wishes. Crisis averted. Thanks to yours truly. Oh, wait, that's me? Again, what... This glitch with the text boxes is confusing me. Crisis averted, thanks to yours truly. Uh, did Clementine get back safely? Let's say that. Yes, thank you so much for your help. A lot of orphans will have a, bright fut a brighter future after today. I apologize, but I have almost nothing to give you for your help. So all I can really offer you is my sincere thanks. Not to worry, your thanks is more than enough. What? This is an outrage. I demand compensation. I'd love to know what happens if I say that, but let's say not to worry. Your thanks is more than enough. Okay. And we get XP from that? Alright. Well, that's the end of that, uh... <laughs> Slight off hoof. Uh, that's the end of that episode. I hope you enjoyed this little tale about the insane mare over there. And uh, we will see you next time. Take care, everybody.